Do you want to replace the fence in your yard or on your patio? We have got you covered whether you want additional privacy in your outdoor space, need to block frigid breeze or hide a street view or secure your pole or keep your pets in or deer out. Choose a fence with minimal to no space between boards if you desire complete privacy. When paired with the rich foliage of climbing plants, a closely spaced lattice can be nearly as private as a solid material. The height will be determined by the slope of your yard and that of your neighbors, the location of your seating places and any municipal, municipal building restrictions that apply. Try going around the perimeter of your yard with a piece of paper or cardboard the height of the fence you are considering and having a friend hold it up. Stand and sit in each location of your yard to determine if the fence will provide sufficient privacy or not. Consider traveling without a gate. If convenience trumps security, consider removing the gate entirely and replacing it with a series of offset fence that allow for our route while hiding the street view as well. Considering a stepped pattern, if a towering privacy fence all the way around your yard seems like too much, consider a stair step design to get privacy only where you need it. You could for example have a taller fence surrounding your seating area and hot tub and a lower fence around the lawn. When you need to block strong guests but don't want to lose light or a spectacular view, glass is the right and perfect option. And privacy fence with few or to no gaps between boards will work effectively if blocking view is not an issue. Keep in mind that if the fence is primarily intended to keep the wind out of a seating area, it can be a few feet lower than a fence surrounding an area where people would be standing such as around the grill. A higher height, a lack of place to hold and a robust lockable gate are the most critical qualities for a security fence. Any security fence should be at least 8 feet tall, however you can add a few feet of trellis to the top of a 6 feet fence to make it look less intimidating. You can also choose one with the flush boards and no horizontal rails on the exterior as well. When your property is locked on a busy street, choosing the right fence is the first step in creating a calm black backyard environment. Choose a fence with small gaps between boards or even a lattice-like pattern if you wish to let some light in and layer lush vegetation or vegetation on both sides to create further privacy. Try a forested glass pattern like for your privacy design just like with privacy fencing. It's a good idea to try out the fence height you are thinking about before committing. While almost any style of fence will keep your dog in the yard if your dog is energetic or loves to bark, consider investing in a substantial fence to block the visual views that get him moving like cars, pedestrian and cats etc. What could be possibly correct? It's possible that your neighbor's yard is not ideal for your house. The ideal fencing design should have a personal touch, a little bit of view to make the fence stand out. We get a lot of questions about fencing and what is the finest product to buy at fence supply store. Consider the project as a single unit. Consider your fencing option carefully. You have to use some guide as a reference for creating a perfect fence design. Look over all the map and rules. Don't forget about the gates and other add-ins and accessories for creating a modern and a fence design according to your personal styles and the needs. If the proper approach is selected, it's great method to stick to your budget. However, if you don't plan the fence as a whole, you can end up with a mess of finished product as you construct. Remember to keep the big picture in mind. Ensure that the same material heights and designs are used throughout the project. If you don't, the finished fence may appear haphazardly put together, which is not the look you are going for. Create a mental image of the fence and stick to the original idea is an important key for starting and designing a perfect fence design. Cost and the overall budget for is the installation must be considered as part of your design strategy as it is very important. Choose your material in accordance with the amount of money you need 
and you intend to spend. There are no point in starting a project with iron only to discover you can't afford to finish it. Choose a fencing material that fits your budget and complements the neighborhood's neighborhood aesthetic as well. If it will stick out like a sore thumb, don't use metal or any other material. Before you start the process, choose the fencing material carefully and wisely. Many designers overlook this aspect, this aspect of designing process until it is too late. You shall need to go over all over the map to figure out where the limits are and where our defense can go. You cannot build too close to street or busy corner in many regions. Before you start, make sure now what materials you can use in your district and what the height restrictions are. Permits may be re required as well and often just cost 100 USD or less but you won't be able to build if you don't have one. While you are planning the fence, check the local building offices and ask your neighbors for advice. Don't forget about gates and other add-ins if it's a little details that make all the difference. When it comes to the fence design, this is especially true. The lovely gate is the ideal location will bring the fence together and regular fence can be transformed into a talking point with the addition of accessories such as lamps and fence posts and caps. It is easy to take a look at their fencing design for inspiration.